Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 475. Tricyclic Antidepressants. Name some of the tricyclic antidepressants. The tricyclic antidepressants include amitriptyline, nortriptyline, imipramine, desipramine, clomipramine, doxepine, and amoxepine. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the drugs in the TCA category? The mnemonic is just to remember that all TCAs end in iptaline or ipramine except for two, that is doxepine and amoxepine. What is the mechanism of action of tricyclic antidepressants? The mechanism of action is to block the reuptake of norepinephrine and serotonin. So the mechanism of action of TCAs is similar to SNRIs. What are the clinical uses of TCAs? The clinical uses of the tricyclic antidepressants are major depression, bedwetting, OCD, and fibromyalgia. Which TCA is primarily used for bedwetting? The TCA primarily used for bedwetting is imipramine. Which TCA is primarily used in OCD? The TCA used in OCD is clomipramine. What is fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia is a chronic disorder characterized by widespread musculoskeletal pain, fatigue, and tenderness in localized areas. What are the general toxicities and side effects associated with tricyclic antidepressants? In tricyclic antidepressants, the toxicities and side effects include sedation, alpha-1 blocking effects which includes postural hypotension, as well as atropine-like effects which would be the anticholinergic effects such as tachycardia, urinary retention, and dry mouth. Name a tertiary tricyclic antidepressant. The a tertiary TCA is amitriptyline. Name a secondary tricyclic antidepressant. Secondary TCA is nortriptyline. Do tertiary or secondary TCAs have a greater anticholinergic effect? Tertiary TCAs such as amitriptyline have more anticholinergic effects than do secondary TCAs such as nortriptyline. Name the TCA that has less sedating effects but has a higher seizure threshold. The TCA that is less sedating but has a higher seizure threshold is desipramine. What is the mnemonic to help you remember some of the side effects associated with TCAs? The mnemonic is just remember TRI-C's and that C's includes convulsion, coma, and cardiotoxicity such as arrhythmias. Also remember that tricyclic antidepressants can cause respiratory depression and hyperpyrexia, which is high fever. One additional thing to note here about the tricyclic antidepressants is that it can also cause confusion and hallucinations in elderly. And the reason this happens is because of the anticholinergic side effects. So therefore, in elderly, you may want to resort to secondary TCAs such as nortriptyline because they have lesser anticholinergic effects. What drug is used as a treatment option for cardiovascular toxicities associated with TCAs? The drug used for this is sodium bicarbonate. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.